Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sofia Palace the new Executive Director of the International Institute for Strategic Studies, IISS Lieutenant General Thomas Beckett. His Majesty welcomed Lieutenant General and hailed the cooperation between Bahrain and the IISS and the joint coordination which resulted in the successful preparation and organisation of the Manama Dialogue, which is one of the leading political and intellectual events that attracts political, diplomatic and economic elite as well as decision-making groups from all over the world to discuss many contemporary issues. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain's hosting of the Manama Dialogue stems from its firm belief in the importance of dialogue, which is the most successful means to consolidate the pillars of security and stability in the region. His Majesty noted the importance of holding these international conferences as they provide promising opportunities for cultural communication, ideas and exchange of experiences that benefit common interests. His Majesty the King highlighted the success the previous meetings of the Manama Dialogue achieved in empowering many parties to find different ways to resolve pressing issues through the opinions expressed by the participating countries during the discussions and their positive cooperation to face the current regional challenges. His Majesty wished success to the 14th edition of the Manama Dialogue, which will be held this year and will discuss a number of Arab and international issues. For his part, Lieutenant General Thomas Beckett expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain for providing facilities to aid the success of the forum, which has become very important through the ideas and visions it puts forward. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safira Palace the Chairman of the Sunni Endowment Council, Sheikh Dr Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri, and the Chairman of the Jafari Endowments Council, Sheikh Mohsen bin Abdul Hussein Al Asfor, as well as the two Council's members. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the efforts of the two endowment councils in overseeing the affairs of the places of worship and qualifying imams and preachers to promote tolerance and direct the religious speech to promote the values of unity and patriotism, as well as to develop an endowment in the kingdom for its contributions to enhancing social solidarity. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the two councils, affirming that the people of Bahrain possess high moral principles. His Majesty also commended the efforts of the Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, to serve the pilgrims and facilitate the Hajj ritual. His Majesty affirmed that the kingdom, throughout its history, has been a model of coexistence and tolerance, and that the cohesion of its people will maintain its security and stability. Hassan bin Abdullah Al Madani expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his royal order to name one of the main streets in Jidhafs after the late Sheikh Suleiman Al Madni. The Chairman of the Sunni and Jafri Endowment Councils expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his directives and efforts to serve religion and for his continuous support to humanitarian work.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, issued Edict 28 of 2018, restructuring the National Committee on Childhood. The Premier's edict stipulated restructuring of the committee chaired by the Minister of Labour and Social Development with the following membership Khalid Abdurrahman Isak, representing Labour and Social Development Ministry, Sheikha Aisha bint Ali al Khalifa, representing Labour and Social Development Ministry. May Hassan Al Azmi, representing Labour and Social Development Ministry. Brigadier Muna Ali Abdurrahim, representing Interior Ministry. Khalid Mahmoud Al Saidi, representing the Ministry of Education. Rana Ahmed Khalifa Ahmed, representing the Supreme Council of Women. Attorney General Amina Issa Mubarak, representing the Public Prosecution. Amir Sama Al Kafash, representing Information Affairs Ministry. Dr. Israq Abdulaziz Al Amr, representing Health Ministry, Sheikh Nur bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, representing Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Ministry, Fatima Abdullah Al Dahin, representing Foreign Affairs Ministry, Dr. Sheikh Ahmed Abdullah Adjuan, representing the University of Bahrain, Iman Faisal Danahi, representing Youth and Sports Affairs Ministry, Faisal Madras Al Madras, representing the Bahrain Society for Children Development, and Manai Ali Khatub Al Abwadi representing Wish of a Child Society. The Minister of Housing, Antonia Basin bin Yaakov Hama, announced that the completion rate of the Ramli housing project has reached 89% of construction work for 1,256 housing units implemented in the city and 53% of infrastructure work. Alhama affirmed that the Ministry is providing all efforts to speed up the completion of the project to deliver units to beneficiaries. He noted that the fast completion of the project is a result of the royal support of the housing sector receives. He stressed the Ministry's keenness to continue efforts to complete all its commitments in the project and all new cities. The Minister noted that the project will provide 4,500 units and residential apartments to accommodate more than 29,000 people. He added that this project is one of the main projects listed in the government's programme to construct 25,000 housing units, which stems from the Royal Directive to build 40,000 housing units. <laughs>